Hey guys, today I will be starting a back to school series. I know many of you have asked me to do some back to school videos. And in this series, I will post several videos in this coming week to show you how I get my daughter prepared for a successful school year. Now I will show you how I keep my little girl stylish without breaking the bank. Now on a typical day, my daughter has to carry quite a few things to the bus stop or on her way to school. The first thing she has to carry is her lunchbox. So she has her lunchbox right here. The second item that she has to carry is her book bag. The third item that she has to carry is her gym bag. Now she has gym four times a week. And then she also has to carry her band instrument. My daughter, Ray Ray, she plays the clarinet. So this is all of the items on, you know, four out of five days of the week that she will have to carry. And that's quite a bit. So one of the concerns I had as a parent was to make sure that I could, you know, streamline and make sure that everything was light as possible so she wouldn't be weighing down her back or causing back problems because there's so much stuff to carry and since there's so many items here I'm not going to go through each one of the you know bags in one video I'm going to break up the videos and do what's in my lunchbox uh, here's her book bag and today we'll be focusing on what's in her book bag and how to pack your book bag like a boss and third over here is her gym bag and I will be doing a separate video on what's in her gym bag and then also showing you some cute affordable um, gym attire that you can purchase. Okay, my first tip when selecting a book bag is to purchase a book bag, invest in a quality book bag that will last over several years. Now, I purchased this book bag a few years back. This is uh, Ray's third year in actually carrying this book bag. And I made sure that I picked something that was neutral, but yet stylish, like had some little, you know, embellishments on it, like these little gold, you know, uh, studs on them and on the handle of the book bag there's also some gold studs but again this book bag will blend in with most all of her outfits and it will look nice and coordinated and this book bag uh, cost about $55 and it has held up very 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 well and I like it because it is faux leather and you can wipe it down and it will look good as new now the only thing I had an issue with this year with her book bag going into the third year of carrying this book bag is the um, zipper. Over here the zipper hook uh, broke off and I took it to my uh, shoe shop, uh, shoe repair shop to see if they could fix it and it was going to cost about $15 for them to uh, put the new zipper on and I thought mm, that's too much for a plain old zipper. And so I thought what could I do you know to really make this cute jazz it up and uh, more you know less expensive than what they were asking and one day I was walking through Walmart and I saw the most adorable little charms and I think they're actually key rings but it had this little hook on it this clasp and I thought this would be perfect to have as a charm or her new zipper for her book bag now I think this little bear is a much more cuter, stylish, and affordable option than just adding a zipper on that the you know um, shoe repairman was going to do, and it works perfectly. It's so easy to open and close, and I absolutely love it. I also picked up a couple of more charms. I thought it was so cute. I said, you know what? We could just kind of decorate and jazz up your book bag since you didn't you know change your lunchbox or your book bag for several years. Let's just add a few charms. And you guys know that flamingos are currently in. Now. Now, so I picked up a flamingo charm and attached that to her lunchbox and I just think these charms are just absolutely wonderful and stay tuned to the end of this video because I will be doing a giveaway of some charms that you can add to your book bags that you can embellish your book bag so stay tuned for the giveaway because I think these are absolutely adorable now let's take a look to see what's inside we'll first start with this front pocket now the first item that's in the front of her book bag are her flashcards. And you know, we made this, this is a Dollar Tree Couture DIY. And if you guys would like to know how to make, you know, customized flashcards, leave a comment in the box below and I can do a DIY on how we put these together. But you know, here we just got some gold paper and it says student plus dying equals studying. And we sectioned out the different uh, areas that she would have to study for. And I absolutely love, flashcards are my favorite tool as far as a um, studying option or helping you study. 
The next item in the front of her book bag, you guys may have seen this in a previous video when I did a to-go period kit and I put you know all of her items in a bag just like this. Well, what we ended up doing was we switched out her period kit. We put it in a different bag and put that in her locker. And now this kind of, instead of using this as the to-go period kit, this kind of acts as her, you know, purse if you will she doesn't always carry a purse to school but there are some essential items that she always needs to have on her so since this fit perfectly in the front of her you know um book bag we switched it out so this can just go right down in her book bag and she can have it all the time and i will be doing a separate video on what her essential items that she would normally carry in a purse you know what's in this bag now that she carries to school so stay tuned for that and that will complete what's in the front of her book bag. So I'm going to put these back in her book bag and show you what's inside. So here is the front of her book bag and there are two pockets in the front. And in the first pocket, she keeps her scientific calculator. And in the second pocket, she keeps her cell phone. And here's what it looks like inside her book bag. And what I am so happy about this year or in middle school is the fact that most all of their stuff is online. So they do not have to lug all those heavy textbooks home each day. So if they ever have any homework, it's all online. So the only thing really that's in her book bag are her notebooks and things that she would have to use to write and do her homework with. And so in the far back, there is a one inch binder and that's her band binder for any band items or band related stuff that she needs for our band class and then in front of that I have these two uh, folders that stand up vertically instead of horizontally and that's great for book bags because book bags are vertical and basically there's one for the student council seventh grade VP Woohoo! Reagan did win her election so we're um, excited about that and I will you know update you guys on that in an upcoming video and then over here there is the parent folder and basically what she does with this is put any uh, items that I need to sign or anything like that in this folder and when she gets home from school she puts this folder on the kitchen desk I look through it to see what's going on or what I need to do or what I need to update my schedule with to coincide with what's going on with school and then I will you know if there's any papers that need to be signed I will then put the papers back in there and she will put that back in her book bag as part of her morning routine so I really really like the vertical folders then in front of that she has you know a five subject notebook for her math class and then she has a five subject notebook for her science class and they you know do an interactive I don't know if you guys are familiar with the interactive notebooks but basically they put all of the information everything that they need um, any handouts and everything like that are stapled into the book so that they will you know have it all ready at their fingertips and then her science teacher made them you know um, you know decorate the front of their books now the next item in her book bag is her school agenda. Now her school does a very good job with putting the agendas together each year and I really love them. And in the front of the agenda, they actually have all of the rules and regulations that you need to know about cheating, bus information, communication with the parents and everything like that. That's all here in the front. And so I usually take a look each year to see if anything has changed and more towards the you know, back and middle of the agenda is where they have the information for them to record down their assignments. The next item in her book bag would be whatever book she is reading for the, um, you know, for the week. And here is a fun little magnetic bookmark that she has in her book. I think these are really cute because my daughter, she really loves fashion. So I thought these were cute. And basically what it is, is you, you know, pull it off. It's just kind of like a little magnetic you know bookmark so she'll just put that in her book and while we're on the subject of talking about reading and books I wanted to share with you one of my absolute favorite reading tools for those younger kids out there and I don't know if you guys are familiar with this or have ever seen this but this is a bookmark timer and in most schools I'm assuming I know in our school system down here um, they always require the children to read for at least 20 minutes a day and when my children were younger it was you know hard to try to keep up with them mom has it been 20 minutes so this right here is a built-in timer on a bookmark and your children can set it for however many minutes they want to read or hours 
or what have you and you set that timer and it will go off when their time for reading is up and this has been a lifesaver as a parent uh, to a child when they're small and these work really good I would say from five years old all the way up until they about get their cell phones because right now my daughter she doesn't use uh, you know the timer bookmarks anymore she just sets her cell phone and you know put the timer on that and it will let her know when she needs to stop reading but this would make great 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 gifts for those young children if you like to give educational gifts for Christmas you can pair up a bookmark a timer bookmark with a book or something like that and this one right here has cute uh, holographic owls or 3d owls on it and you know it changes with the light and you can pick these up from Barnes and Nobles but I this is a parent recommended tool for those younger children that do not have cell phones and have to you know complete their reading and it's called mark my time the next item is this cute little notepad with the cupcakes on it. And I picked this little um, you know, notepad up. My daughter picked it out. She liked this one at the Dollar Tree. So if you would like this notebook, you can pick this up from the Dollar Tree. And what I like about this uh, notepad is that it has a little zippered pouch, a clear zippered pouch in there for you to put in any items that you may need. And what my daughter opted to put in here were those, I think I showed you in a um, Dollar Tree haul, were these tattoo pins that I purchased for both my girls because they love to doodle and write on themselves in class when they're bored or something like that. So I put the tattoo pins in here so that she can write on herself if she chooses to, if she's bored. And then there's just a regular pen in here. This is a cute little bubblegum pen. And here are some sticky notes. Now this is the poop emoji. And, uh, you know, I guess kids like this. This is funny. And she's like, well, you know, Ma, I'll use this when I'm having a crappy day because, you know, crap happens. And so, you know, you can pick these up from five below. So she has some poop sticky notes. And then we just have some regular sticky notes that says just saying and I picked up a few of these in case you know they run out and they have different sayings on them this one says just saying and they have the blue one I think it says really with a question mark you know fun little teen things that they would say and then these are just some post-it note flags just to kind of mark off anything that she may need to you know mark in a book or something like that and then in the notebook it's really cute because it has a little cupcake in the bottom uh, right hand corner of each of the pages. And I thought this was really cute and this is for her to just jot down any notes that she may need to take or something like that or just to doodle or what have you. And another item that's in her book bag is a small compact umbrella and this is perfect you know uh, for those days that it's raining. It's small and compact and it can fit right down there in her book bag. And the final item in her book bag is her pencil pouch. So let's take a look inside and see what's in the pencil pouch. You see our little lovely ghetto pencil pouch. It's kind of like called grills and they have like the gold fronts. So let's take a quick peek and see what's inside her pencil case. So inside the pencil case she has an eraser that says my bad. And these erasers came as part of like a five part set with many different quotes on them from five below but I just kind of broke it up and she also has a small stapler because remember I told you they do the interactive notebooks and so she has to staple in all of her papers and she also has a you know some backup staples for you know the stapler she has a glue pen for gluing items in if she should need glue And here are a pair of scissors and this year we bought the non-stick scissors. These scissors are not supposed to, you know, if you're cutting tape or duct tape or something like that, it is not supposed to stick to the scissors. This is supposed to be kind of like a non-stick, you know, surface. We also have some highlighters, some pens, some pencils, some dry erase markers, some paper clips, some colored pencils, and again we bundled with rubber bands all of the different types of pens, pencils, markers, and everything so that they wouldn't be scattered about and you can actually find them in her pencil pouch. And she also has a pencil sharpener and the bottom of the pencil sharpener is an eraser and this again also came from the Dollar Tree. And finally a ruler. This is a snap ruler bracelet. 
So here it is, the ruler. It's glitter on one side and it is a ruler on the other side. And basically it's just like one of those snap bracelets when you hit it. So here it is, it's glitter on one side and the ruler on the other side. And it's just a slap bracelet. So if I just, you know, hit it, it's going to just, you know, kind of wrap around. If I had my wrist, I could slap it on my wrist. And she really likes that, that's really cute. And I picked this up for Target in the Target dollar spot. And I also wanted to give a quick tip on buying back to school supplies. Now that can be overwhelming in and of itself because some of those lists are so long you can end up spending $60 plus on school supplies. But what we do is kind of buy supplies throughout the year. In the beginning of the year I pick up all of the different grades, um, you know, supply lists to see what they will need from grade to grade. And most of the times a lot of the things they are going to reuse. There's usually never a time my daughter uses up all of her colored pencils of all of her pens or all of their sticky notes so I just kind of at the end of the year school year before school starts look through and see what they already have and we will just continue to use those supplies until they run out and something like this pouch this will probably last you know it's a good sturdy one it's not like the um, Dollar Tree one that will uh, probably break up or something like that but as long as it'll last we will keep it from year to year we don't just buy supplies just because because it's a new school year and we need new things so that's why it's important to buy the things that you like so you can enjoy them for years to come this year we did not spend that much on supplies and so we had additional leftover money to focus in on you know purchasing cute little accessories and things like that because our money didn't go towards those you know supplies and things that we did not need and speaking of accessories let's get on to that giveaway so in this giveaway, I will be giving away three of these cute little charms. I call them book bag accessories, but they're actually keychains. So, you know, both adults and children um, can enter into this contest because you don't necessarily have to hang it onto your, you know, book bag. You can uh, put your keys on it. You can hang it onto a purse or anything like that. So the ones that I will be giving away, I have another one of these cute little teddy bears. And I have a cute little turtle. This one is, uh, you know, a turtle with a pink, hot pink, you know, um, embellishment. And I have a blinged out high heel shoe. So in order to enter into this giveaway, you must first be a subscriber and then B, leave me a comment below letting me know whether you like the teddy bear or if you like the turtle or the blinged out high heel shoe. And also in your comments, since you're leaving a comment, let me know which video you would like me to put up next in our back to school series. Would you like to see the DIY on the studying flashcards? Would you like to see, you know, what's in her gym bag? Or would you like to see what's in her little purse, you know, purse essentials that she carries in her book bag? Or would you like to see what's in my lunchbox? So let me know what you guys would like to see next and I will be putting those videos up up shortly and until next time I am going to keep calm and carry on